For the last episode, we caught up with everyone and they told us all about what they've learned the past year on a special two-part conclusion to this week's The New Class. Coming from high school, people say, oh, it's going to be this terrible time. But you don't really know what you're capable of until you're really challenged. So that's something I learned that I was actually capable of a lot more than I ever thought. Um, I find that, especially for science students, a lot of the courses that you're taking in first year are very general, like introductory to physics, introductory to chemistry and all that, that it's really getting your mind around sticking through the first year because it's you're not doing what you want to do and it's just it's really hard to go through another year of the four years that you spent doing general courses that once you it's kind of just seeing that light at the end of the tunnel that I'm majoring something in something that I am passionate about and it's just getting through those general courses can be really tough but I'm sure it's worth it. I went to high school here in Newfoundland and like the university is pretty much like set up so it's like most people from Newfoundland come here so like I don't know I just felt like it was very much like very smooth for me to come here and like obviously I don't think high school prepares you for what university is but I think coming from Newfoundland is probably the smoothest it could be like I didn't have to write the MPT I just came in and it was all like I, I'll figure it out. So I guess that's an interesting point though from Andreas is students who are from from Newfoundland right I mean are you happy that you came to Mun or are you kind of wishing that maybe you, you traveled outside the province? Yeah, Mon is pretty good. It's not too far away from home. You don't spend much time at home, but we got to go home over Christmas and some of them, our friends here from other countries had to stay in over Christmas, which wouldn't be that good. It would be nice to um, you know, go to a new country or a new province and meet new people there, but there are a lot of people from different provinces here, people from different countries here, so you still do get that diversity that where I'm from you'd never get. So it still was a new experience for me, even though I'm only two hours from home. Having lived in residence now for your first year, would you encourage students to live in residence? A hundred percent, especially if you're not from St. John's where you don't have friends that are from your high school or don't know anybody. I strongly encourage living in residence because I made so many friends that I would never have made if I wasn't forced into a community where I had to act, where it was impossible not to make friends, you know? Like, you know, if anything, your roommate, and then people just start talking to you, and if you leave your door open, people come in, and it's really great, right? And it really gets you into the community vibe of Memorial that I probably wouldn't have had if I stayed off campus. Um, having seen, like, other campuses through, like, me or my, uh, or my wife, like, uh, I don't think there's any other universities that have such a, like, close-knit community. So uh, that was definitely very interesting to see in the experience of Memorial. Mon is really an international community. Here, there are only nine of us. We have three from foreign country, Vietnam, India, China. But I find, I, I have something to tell all the international students that rather than find rather than focus on the differences between us, between people from different countries, we should more focus on the common things that we share. And when you focus on this, you could live like happier, you forgot about all the strange things here. Like technically, literally for me, China and Canada is really, really different. But, but from another perspective, I find I could settle down quite well, adapt myself to the terrible weather. <laughs> <laughs> That's part one. Be sure to check out the conclusion of the new class on part two.